みだよみどみアルカスガミギーダーはいレディギーダーシディー We're going to do draw my life for my friend Mo the monster Wait, wait, wait a minute, Mo. No one can understand you. Let me try. A long time ago, on a planet far, far away, I was born. My parents were so happy to have a new monster as part of the family. They bought me all kinds of toys, musical instruments, and building projects. My parents wanted me to become a great engineer and run a factory one day, just like everyone in their family. So, I started school. I was really happy to meet new friends. But school wasn't fun. Every day we read out of the same books. Stacks and stacks of rules for how to build. Books with no pictures. There was no art, no music. Everyone knew exactly what they wanted to be when they grow up. An engineer, a construction worker, a dump truck driver. But not me. When I grow up, I don't want to work in the factories or build roads. I want to play with toys all day, make music, and have fun. And one day, I was helping my dad clean out our new space launcher. He told me he'd be right back. And definitely not to touch any of the controls. But I just couldn't help it. I had to know what that button would do. And I pushed it. All of a sudden, the ship started shaking. Lights flashed everywhere. And the ship went straight up into the sky. The ship went into hyperspeed, the fastest any spaceship could go on Motopia. I was soon very far away from home. Little did I know, I was getting closer to a new home. When I finally landed, I was in a very strange place. It didn't look like Motopia. Grass was green. There was water everywhere. The sky was covered with fluffy white things. Nobody looked like me or talked like me. I just wanted to go back home to Motopia, even if it was super boring. Hey, that's me! Alright, Mo, I'll just read only my part. Then, I saw two kids playing in a giant outdoor swimming pool. They were talking, laughing, and best of all, eating this stuff called gummies. Mmm, that was so good. And I started to play with them too. This is how I met Gus the Gummy Gator. He learned my language and always wanted to go on crazy adventures. <laughs> we were always eating gummies. We even started our own swamp band. Very soon, my parents came to the swamp too. And they liked it so much, they decided to stay. They were so happy I left Motopia, even though it was by accident. Later on, Gus moved away to the city. 
My parents still let me take my space car over to see him. Even though I'm still learning how to drive it. And don't go anywhere, little gators. Now keep watching for my Draw My Life story. Hi, you little gators. I'm just a gator. Today I'm going to draw my life story. Once upon a time, there was a big old swamp. It was green and beautiful with fishes and turtles and dinosaurs. No, that's not right. Dinosaurs come later in the story. This is where I was born. Mama and Daddy Gator were so proud. I loved living in the swamp. We had a ginormous outdoor swimming pool, but I never learned how to swim too good. Then one day I made a friend next to the pool. He told me all about his house and joys and his amazing candy. I tried some, and I loved it. I started playing every day with my new friend. It was so fun. Then one day, Dad got a job selling power cars. We had to leave the swamp and my best friend. Moving to the city was hard. Nobody had giant swimming pools like in the swamp. Nobody knew where to find gummies either. Daddy didn't like it too much. Hmm. My new school was no fun at all. I had no friends. I couldn't count too good. More sick hunters. And all of my science experiments exploded. I miss my friends so much. I thought about him every day. Well, maybe every other day. Then one day I saw this little gator on YouTube named Lion. He was playing with toys, driving cars, and having so much fun with his family. And I thought for sure he would want to be my friend too. The very next day, I asked my parents if I could start my own YouTube channel, just like Ryan's. And you know what? They said yes. All right. At first, I made videos about how to make gummies. That was real messy. Then I made videos of all my adventures with my friends and some T-Rex dinosaurs. We started a band, played with Play-Doh, and put out fires. It was pretty crazy. We had so much fun. Mama and Papa were so proud. My friend from the swamp loved it too. We even made it to 100,000 subscribers in just five months. We ate a lot of cake that day. Then one day, I heard Ryan really liked my show too. I was so happy, I just knew I had to meet him in person. I asked my parents if I could go to Ryan's house to play with him. They said yes. And so I took the fastest possible way. I mailed myself. When I got to Ryan's house, we played tag and ate gummies. I met his parents and his little sisters too. It was like getting a whole extra family. Now I get to come onto his show and go on trips with him. And the best part is, my friend from the swamp loves Ryan too. I have so many friends and fans now, and I'm so happy.
Thanks for watching my show, little gators. See you next time. Go find your own Ryan's World toys and clothing at Walmart or Walmart.com. You can find me as a squishy, bubble pal, action figure, or slime blaster. You can even find my friends Mo, Peck, and Combo Panda in tons of Ryan's action figures. Don't forget about our colorful mystery slime, molecule building sets, putty eggs, and our super giant surprise egg with tons of cool toys inside. Collect them all! If you had fun today, click my other videos to see me and my yummy gummies. Click on the red button to subscribe to watch more of my videos and my yummy gummy adventures.